YouTube, Ellie here, and today we're going to talk about the Planck length, the smallest thing we can observe in the universe, and, of course, the grand universe, uh, which is the biggest thing we know exists. The universe we know is the biggest thing that we can observe. But what do we mean by observe? We can't actually see the entire universe because our visual cortex only allows us to see a certain amount of things that are only in a certain amount of distance between us. But we have tools, new technology, and also things like telescopes. Uh, we can look further with them. And physicists can calculate uh, the rate of expansion that the universe has. So, they can calculate backwards and calculate when the universe arose. And, uh, they can also know approximately how big the universe is by knowing the rate of expansion. As we've come to know, the observable universe is the biggest thing we can observe. And, there exists a smallest unit of length. That is the Planck length. The Planck length is the smallest unit of length of space. But why does there have to be a smallest po uh, point? The, uh, uh, well, matter can't be cut indefinitely because it is only composed of so much amount of things. For example, matter is made out of uh, molecules, and inside those molecules are atoms, gluons, quarks, and so on. But there exists a smallest unit of length to measure that. The smallest measurements of matter and other things in the universe. But, how big is the Planck length? The Planck length is approximately 10 to the minus 35 meters, which is the same as 1 divided by 10 to the power of 35 meters. And 10 to the power of 35 is a very large number, so 1 divided by that large number, me amount of meters, is a very small fraction of a meter. And now we have another question. What is between the Planck length and the universe? The answer is us. Because the amount of Planck lengths needed to stretch, stretch across a single brain cell is the same as the amount of brain cells needed to spread across the entire universe. And that's it for today. I would like to thank Esther, my editor, and, of course, you guys for watching.